Welcome to this introduction to Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations is Microsoft's flagship enterprise resource planning system and can be accessed via a web browser. Once accessed, the workspaces are displayed on the main page. These workspaces give users a quick and easy way to view data and functions for all specific modules. As an example, by accessing the general journal processing workspace, I have tiles under the summary area, I have general journals in various statuses, as well as links to particular analysis reports, setup, and other personalized features. The modules as well as other options can be found on the navigation pane on the side, such as Favorites, recently accessed menu items, all workspaces, as well as the modules. For each of the modules, the functions and options are generally divided into menu items, inquiries and reports, as well as setup. Menus, forms, and functionality can be granted and restricted by security roles and securities. Therefore, particular users might not necessarily have access to the setup modules, but they will have access to the menu items, functions, and reports. Navigation in D365 can be made even simpler by either marking particular menu items as favorites, including reports or inquiries. Therefore, under the favorites area from the navigation pane, they are now displayed. We can take this one step further. Having a particular page, we can actually personalize and add it to a existing workspace. You simply select the workspace from the drop-down list and choose to have it presented as a tile, a list, or a link. This has already been done for this particular page, so if I go to my purchase order receipt and follow up workspace, not only do I have the summary tiles, pending work which is outstanding, orders not invoiced, I also have links to inquiries, reports, or any other features available. These pages can also be personalized to add existing fields as columns to the grid. The, feature, the nice feature of this is that an entire grid can also be exported into Microsoft Excel. This concludes the introduction to Dynamics 365 for Finance and Operations. Thanks for watching.